Hi there, Bill Young again. Um, a couple of people asked me what I was talking about with using an indexer and how that's different than the usual kind of cutting we do with CNC machines, which is laying a piece of material on a table and then a bit sort of cuts out a design or carves a shape or does whatever, does a, a woodland scene. Um, sort of that's the two and a half D kind of carving, 2D or two and a half D cutting and carving that we, we usually think about with CNC. So an indexer does that same sort of motion but adds a synchronized turning. So it's an accessory you can add to ChopBots and other CNC machines that synchronize the turn with the mo up and down and linear motion of the tool. So what it lets you do, you can do the same kind of stuff you do on a regular wood lathe. You can do, you know, spindles and fluting and make table legs and sort of simple um, beads around things and, and, and you know, r repetitive patterns on a cylindrical object. But you can also carve things in the round. You can carve something like a um, table leg that's very intricate, a ball and claw um, table leg or chair leg or a skull that's an actual in the round thing that you could do if, if you, with a regular CNC machine, a regular flatbed machine, if you turned it a couple times, but you'd still see, you know, usually there's a line, a parting line between the different things and the turning, the indexer lets you do that kind of turning. So the, um, an example is the Harry Potter wands I was doing. You know, you can do some simple wands that are just kind of revolve shapes and they're kind of taper on one end and have a handle. And you could do that on a lathe pretty quickly, especially if you had practice with a lathe. But if you wanted to wrap text around it, V-carve text around a funny shape, um, that would be really hard to do without years of learning to carve you know, developing those kind of skills. Um, or if you want to do a shape that had um, odd shaped holes or a weird texture on it, like it was a branch of a tree, or um, had a tulip shape on the end, um, or had something wrapped around it, like a vine and some leaves. You know, it would be really hard to do um, Traditionally, on a lathe, you, you could turn it to shape, but then there'd be a lot of tool, knife, and gouge work to get it to look right. And, um, you know, you can learn the skill. It's all a matter of time and practice. Um, you know, the 10,000 hours is, um, it's really true. It doesn't, it may not take 10,000 hours, but it'd take a lot of time. So that's, um, the indexer is really just sort of a, another tool in your toolkit. And there are a lot of people that do pen and pencil turning traditionally. And you can do that on, you know, they make pen lays and you know, a lot of that is done with interesting materials, unusual acrylics and you know, different kinds of stuff to make a really unusual looking pen or pencil. Um, I do a lot of fat leaded shop pencils. And you, know, you can turn to shape, the same kind of shapes that you do on a regular lathe, but you can also do things like wrap text around it or do chip carving patterns, or do inlays, or you know, add recesses for fingers. So the indexer is just another interesting tool to add into your, to your CNC toolkit.